Do you know what? asked Percy. What? grunted Gordon. Do you know what? No, silly. Of course I don't know what. If you don't tell me what what is, grunted Gordon. The fat controller says that the work in the yard's getting too heavy for me. He's getting a bigger engine to help out. Rubbish! Huffed James. Any engine could do it. If you worked hard and chattered less, this yard would be a much sweeter, a better and a happier place. Percy ignored James and went on with his work. That stupid old signal, he thought to himself, remembering the time he'd misunderstood the signal and went backwards instead of forwards. No one ever listens to me now. They think I'm a silly little engine and order me about. I'll show them, I'll show them, he thought to himself, but he didn't know how. By the end of the day, as he brought the coaches to the platform, he was feeling tired and very miserable. Hello, Percy. You look tired. Yes, sir, I am, sir. I don't know whether I'm standing on my dome or my wheels. <coughs> you look the right way up to me, said the fat controller. Cheer up. The new engine's bigger than you and can probably do the work alone. Would you like to help out in the new harbour? Thomas and Joby are helping. Oh, sir. Thank you, sir, said Percy. Later, the engine arrived. And who might you be? Montague, sir, but I'm usually called Duck. They say I waddle. <laughs> I don't really, sir, but I like, be I like Duck better than Montague. Good, Duck it shall be. Percy, show Duck round. The two engines got on like a house on fire and went off to do their work. James Henry and Gordon watched Duck quietly doing his work. He seems a simple sort of engine. We'll have some fun and order him about. Whish! Smoke billowed everywhere. <coughs> Percy was furious. Duck took no notice. Ah, oh, they'll get tired of it soon. Do they tell you to do things, Percy? asked Duck. Yes, they do, said Percy crossly. Right, said Duff. We'll soon put a stop to that nonsense. He whispered something. We'll do it later. The fat controller was in his office, looking forward to having hot bird toast for Tears home. Suddenly, he heard an extraordinary noise. Whee! <laughs> Bother, he said, and went out. Percy and Duck sat calmly outside the shed, refusing to let the engines in. Gordon, James and Henry were furious. Stop that noise, bellowed the fat controller. They won't let us in, sniffed Gordon. Duck explained his behaviour. Beg pardon, sir, but I'm a great western engine. We do our work without fuss. But, begging your pardon, sir, Percy and I would be glad if you would inform these, uh, engines that we only take orders from you. QUIET! said the back controller. Percy and Jock, I am pleased with your work today, but not with your behaviour tonight. You have caused a disturbance. Gordon, Henry and James sniggered. As for you three, thundered the back controller, you have been worse. You made a disturbance. Jock is quite right. This is my railway and I give the orders. After that, Percy left and Duck managed alone. He did so. Easily. <laughs>